ever pondered why the African savannah never falls silent even for a moment? It's a symphony of life, an orchestra of wild voices harmonizing into a perpetual song. This is the language of the wild, where sound plays a critical role in communication among wildlife. Consider this. The African savanna is a stage where every creature, big or small, has a role to play. From the low, resonating grumble of the lion that echoes dominance and territory, to the high-pitched chirp of insects that signifies their presence and vitality. Every sound carries a specific message. It's a constant hum of communication, a dialogue that never ends. These voices, these sounds, they are not just noise. They form a complex language, a dialect of survival, of interaction, of coexistence. Each note, each beat contributing to the grand symphony of the wilderness. The African savanna is not just about the survival of the fittest, but also about the survival of the loudest. Have you ever wished to understand the language of the wild? Imagine being privy to the whispers of the wind, the secrets of the grass, and the symphony of the savanna. But this isn't just about decoding the melodies of the wild, it's about understanding a sophisticated and complex system of communication that ensures survival in one of the planet's most challenging environments. Let's begin with elephants, the gentle giants of the African plains. They communicate using low-frequency rumbles, almost imperceptible to the human ear. These rumbles can travel over vast distances, a sort of long-range texting service, if you will. Elephants use these infrasonic messages to coordinate movements, find mates, and even to express emotions. It's a rich, textured language that speaks volumes about the depth of their social bonds. Now let's turn our attention to the vervet monkeys. These agile creatures have developed a fascinating system of alarm calls. Each call is specific to a type of predator. There's a distinct sound for a leopard, a different one for a snake, and another for an eagle. This intricate language of fear and warning is so precise, it allows the vervet monkeys to respond appropriately to each threat, whether that means looking up to the skies or scanning the grass for danger. For these animals, and many others across the African savanna, sound isn't just about communication. It's about survival. It's about love and fear, joy and sorrow. It's about coordinating group movements, asserting dominance and finding a mate. It's about expressing the full spectrum of emotions and experiences that make up life in the wild. So the next time you find yourself listening to the sounds of the African savanna, remember, you're not just hearing random noises, you're listening to a symphony, a symphony that tells a thousand stories, each note a word, each phrase a sentence, and every single one of them is crucial to the survival and social structure of these incredible species. In the heart of the African savanna, sound plays a key role in the survival and social structure of various species. This is the symphony of the African savanna, an orchestra of life and survival. So, what are the implications of this symphony of the savanna? The role of sound in wildlife communication is paramount. It's how animals convey warnings, find mates, and assert dominance. These sounds, each with their unique cadence, pitch, and frequency, form the intricate symphony of the savanna, a melody that tells the story of life's struggle and triumph. Understanding these sounds, decoding their meaning, is not merely an intellectual exercise, it's a gateway to conservation. By listening, we can detect changes in the environment, shifts in the health of animal populations, and intervene when needed. We can ensure the continuation of these beautiful creatures, preserving the symphony for generations to come. Moreover, it deepens our appreciation of wildlife. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of all living beings, of the harmonious balance that exists in nature. Next time you listen to the sounds of nature, remember it's not just noise, it's a melody of survival, a symphony of life.